Well, hi everyone. It is summertime here in the United States. That means today we are going to be doing a June plan with me. So come along, grab your planner and let's get planning. Well, hi everyone, I'm Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. If you're new here, I'd like to say welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, subscriber, I'd like to say welcome back. Uh, today, we are going to take a look at setting up our June uh, spread in our digital planner in OneNote. So if you'd like to learn more about that, uh, stay with me. Today, I wanted to kind of take you through the whole process that I do. Uh, so this might be a little bit longer video than normal, but I am starting with uh, the decision of my theme, downloading my stickers, organizing them into OneNote, and then going ahead and setting up my monthly pages for the month of July, which starts later this week. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's jump into the computer and I'll show you the entire process. Now I use OneNote uh, 365 for my digital planner, for, actually for my life uh, notebook, uh, because I keep everything related to what I am doing in life in my notebook. And for me, it's just very helpful to have everything in one place. Okay. All right. So what you see here on the screen is I have just made a purchase from an Etsy shop called Doodlebug Draws. And uh, for the month of June, I'm going to be using this cute uh, digital strawberry set. So I have ordered it. This is my receipt. I wanted to show you guys how I get it from here, from Etsy into OneNote. All right. In this particular uh, set, that from this particular vendor, uh, there is a June strawberries, doodlebug draws, PNG zip file. Uh, there's one for good notes, but I don't use good notes because of the limitations of that. I prefer to use one note as my digital planner. And then there's a terms of use, which talks about that. I can't sell or reproduce this in any way. I am just using this for my own personal use. And then there is a PDF file that accompanies it. Okay. So what I need is the PNG file. So I'm going to click download for that. And you'll see that it is downloading. And once it is finished, I can click on that and that file will open up for me. So you see here, I have the file uh, open in my um, manager and I'm going to go in here and click this one. And you see that it has dates, weekdays, and then it has all of these extra, um, you know, graphics that go with it. Okay. So I'm going to do this kind of systematically. Let's go into dates. And if you uh, take a look at this, these are the little strawberry date covers. Okay. And then there's also a blank strawberry there. So I'm going to do about half. So I'm going to come down here, hold down my shift key and that selects half of the files. I'm going to right click and say copy. Now what I like to do in OneNote, uh, so let me bring OneNote up for you to see, move this to one side of the screen and I will bring up OneNote on the other side. All right. And what OneNote came up to was my May inbox and notes page, which you see is pretty full for this month. But what I want to do is jump over to June because my strawberries are going to be used for June and I'm going to create a new page, which I have here on the screen. And all I need to do at this point is go down here to the paste option. Okay. Or control V which is easier for me to do. And you see, I have all of my strawberries listed there with the date covers on them and the blank one. Okay. Now these are quite large on this page. So what I usually do is I go through and I make them tiny because I don't need them so big. So I'm going to do that real quick. So that's one way to do it, to go through and to manipulate every single file that works fine. Now let's jump back over here and do 16 through 
uh, the blank one. So again, shift, that selects all of them. Right click, copy, come back into OneNote, control V to paste, okay? And let me scroll out a little bit so that you can see a little bit more of those. And I wanna show you a second way to make them smaller. And that is going into your draw feature. And then you can use your lasso tool to select a group of them. And then you can make them all smaller at the same time, like so, and move them around, make them smaller. That actually works faster, but I wanted to show you that you do have the ability to do each individual file if you would like. So again, we're gonna make those smaller. I could even cut them from here if I wanted to cut them and then go up to the top and put my cursor up there and choose again, Control V to paste. And I can make those smaller like so. Okay, so now I have all of my date covers. Uh, let's go back over here to the files and we will go back now to the weekdays. I like the way she has these files organized so it's very easy to find everything. I'm going to say shift again to select all of those weekdays, copy, take it over into OneNote and control V to paste. And there you have all of those. Again, I'm going to use my lasso tool. I'm going to draw a circle around all of those files, shrink them at the same time, and move them into place. All right. Now, I know that you can't see the graphics very well on your screen, but once I get them all copied, I will uh, enlarge them so you can see them, okay? Now, uh, here comes the extra files that we have. So again, I like to pick, you know, a little selection of those um, so that I can copy a bunch at one time. I'm gonna go down here to the word cream strawberry, and that looks like enough to do. Uh, copy that, jump over to OneNote, and control V, here come all of those files. Again, I can use my lasso tool, circle all of those, shrink them, move them so that I can see them, and then jump back over green flag, all the way down to, let's do strawberry blossom. So shift, copy, Control V on this side or paste. And lasso those and make them smaller. Again, the reason that I make them smaller is so that I can see them all on the page at the same time. Uh, and it just works a little bit better for me. So strawberry half all the way down to the bottom. So shift to get those last few files. and copy and back over to my OneNote page. Again, I am pasting with Control V, lasso all of those, reduce them in size, position them to where I can see them, okay? All right, and because this graphic file uh, or this sticker set is relatively small, it has lots of cute things, but they're not, you know, a huge number of files because I don't need all of that. I think it works perfectly for me. Okay. All right. Now I am finished with all copying all of those files. And those were the things that were in the set. So I can close this and uh, to give you a sneak preview as to what's coming up, I do have a honeybee digital sticker set uh, that I purchased. And I also have a watermelon set. So look forward to those coming in the near future. Okay. All right. Back to OneNote. I'm going to make this full screen so that you can see it. And I will scroll in to my page so that you can see things a lot better. Okay. So there's pretty much my entire sticker set for the month of June. Okay. All right. And I'm going to give this a title. I'm going to call this strawberry and I'm going to put a dash 
doodle bug draws so that I remember, okay? And I usually also annotate over here, um, purchased from Doodlebug Draws so that I remember where it came from. I also then will go in and add keywords to this page so that I can find the items on here if I want. So by keywords, I mean items that I see on the page. So strawberry, uh, let's see, jam, uh, tart, pie, um, chocolate, uh, baskets. Uh, I also will often do the colors, red, green, pink, so that if I'm looking for a particular you know, a green flag or a pink flag or a post-it note or something like that, I can find it. Uh, let's see, blossom. And of course, a strawberry, even though it will find that on the title page. Okay. All right. So these are really, really cute. I think uh, this is going to look very nice. It's going to be very sweet in my planner this month. Sorry about that. It's on the screen. I didn't make that one up. <laughs> okay. All right. So that is my theme for the month of June. And as you see in June, I have nothing else on the screen as of yet. So of course I have some basic pages that I set up for every month. And those five basic pages include my inbox, my dashboard, um, my health and fitness planner, um, my personal meal planner and, um, that's it. I think maybe there's only four pages. Anyway, let's go about setting those up together. Okay. All right. The easiest way for me to do that is to take the pages that I have done in the past, uh, copy them, clean them up and then get them ready for the next month. Okay. All right. So let's go back to May and we will start with our inbox, which is right here. So I will right click on that. And actually let's do all of them while we're here. I can go down to, um, let's do all of them. So I've got my inbox and notes. I've got my health planner here. I've got my dashboard, my meal planner page and my housekeeping chores. All right. So I'm going to shift and select all of those. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down here to move or copy. That brings up a dialog box and asks me where I would like to move or copy it to. And I can go down here to crystal life planner and I can go to the June section and I can say, make a copy. Now, when I do that, all of this information will be copied into my June folder, but it will still be a duplicate of the May pages. Then I have to go in, erase all of the May stuff or change it to go along with our June theme. All right. So we're going to do that now. All right. So here is my May inbox and you see, I have a lot of things that are on here that I need to delete because a lot of these things have been checked off and those that have not been checked off are still on my May page. They will not be lost. They will not be, um, forgotten about. Let's see, get rid of this quote here. Oops. I'll keep the box, but I want to get rid of the quote, which is in this text box here. Okay. And I can also get rid of my graphics. Um, we'll use that. We'll just change the name and all of my little notes here that I have. Uh, this entire box can go. And my inbox is normally a very clean, very sparse looking uh, page for me. All right. So what I want to do here uh, in this uh, theme is I want to go and I want to pick something that I can use as a title. So let's say I'm going to pick this June here. I'm going to make a copy of it so that I can play around with it. So I'm going to say, copy that. And we'll put this one, the original 
back over here with the rest of them and I will paste it over here on the side, give myself a little bit of working space. Now that's actually quite cute in and of itself, but I do think that I might like to also take, um, I don't know if I want to, let's just see how this looks before I make a copy of all of this. I could do this little uh, string of strawberries underneath, kind of like that. That's kind of cute. I could take this little cluster and put it something like that. That's also kind of cute. I could take this little mouse and put him maybe at the beginning. Let's cut him and we will paste him again. And now he is in the front. Okay, so I can put him kind of tucked over there. That's kind of cute. What if I had these strawberries dangling like that? And that kind of creates a nice little rectangle. And our little mouse friend has sneaked in and stolen, has sneaking in and stolen a strawberry. I think that's cute. So now what I need to do is take the mouse and drag it across and that chooses all three boxes. Then I can say control C to copy and I could come down underneath and when I do paste, I want to paste as a picture that puts all three elements together and keeps them together. Okay. Now I have not three individual pictures, but I have one picture right there that I am going to copy and take back to my inbox paste on the side so things don't move around. And we'll put our inbox sticker right up there, all right? Now, of course, as you can see, the inbox and notes does not match. So we're gonna go in and we will change the font or the text color for that. Um, I think I like this green for that. That matches pretty well and then we can modify where that box goes like so, okay? All right, I think that's cute. Again, the notes and musings needs to be green and my box down here under pen properties to change that. So here's my pen properties box. I could either choose a red box to go along with that or I could stick with the green and I think I'm going to stick with the green and use the reds as accents, okay? All right, now I also want to have some sort of box that I can do on here that I can make notes in. So I'm gonna choose this one. I'm gonna make a copy of it, take it back to my inbox, paste over here on the side. And there is my box, okay? I want the box uh, to be rotated. So I want it to go in portrait mode. So I'm gonna rotate it that way. And then I can put it in place. If I want to make it longer down this side, I can do that. Okay, and then I can take my notes and musings. I can order those by bringing them to the front and I can put that right up there at the top. Okay, now if I want to, I can go back and get some sort of graphic to put there. Copy back to my inbox, paste on the side, and there we go. So cute. It's so cute. Okay. Uh, let's see. I always like to do like a recipe to try. So let's see. I'll take the jam one for that. And again, paste over here on the side. And I'll put that there. Make it a little bit smaller. And I simply will write recipe to try and I can change the font to this green color if I want I can change it to one of my favorite it's Harry 
Harrington. Harrington is one of my favorites. And we'll make that bold. And I'll make it about 12 point. And we will put that, move this box down here. Recipe to try. Okay. All right. Now for my inbox and notes, you guys know that I use tags. If you don't know about tags, I have lots of videos on my channel about tags, but I do keep a list of my primary tags on here so that I can use them on my phone. So what I want to do is I want to go to my inbox master, uh, master list. And this is a list of all of my tags. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to take it back to June and I will uh, paste it over here on the side and then I can move that box into place. Now the reason that I do this and I put my tags in here with everything checked is so that when I am on the go and using my phone and my iPad and that kind of thing, if I have something to add to one of these tags and my phone and my iPad do not support these customized tags, all I need to do is go in here to this list, find the item that I want to do. Like, let's say, um, let's say I want to buy something. And so I would come in here to my to buy tag. I would simply hit enter on my phone or my iPad or on my desktop. And it would give me another checkbox that is the same. Uh, this tag right here says to buy. You can see it right there when I hover over it. So I could put a uh, fertilizer in that space and then when I do a sort on all my items to buy that would come up okay so that's why I use this master list so that I have it when I'm out and about all right it makes much more sense to me all right good now let's move on to health and habits I'm gonna get that cleaned up and then I will show you the blank one uh, because there is personal information on there that you do not need to see all right, so stick with me. I'll be right back. I'm going to do the same thing. Delete the old stuff, clean it up, and then I'll decorate it for the new one. Okay, so I have uh, cleaned everything up, and now I just need to get it ready for May. So let's make it look good. Let's go back and get that title. We'll bring that forward. So there is that. Now I do want to um, make a note here that I, I have in a lot of my notebooks, I have moved my notebooks up to encompass this title line. I know that a lot of people don't like the, the page title line, but I actually do. I think it is a nice way to, and maybe again, it's because I'm a school teacher and the first thing we taught kids was how to put your name, date, and subject on your page. Well, this is the, the name of my page and the date and time uh, that it was created. So uh, if I want to change that, I can do that simply by going over here to the calendar and clicking today and it comes up with the correct date. So I know that this page was made on a certain date, okay? I can change this to June, Health and Habits, and I kind of like the way that it looks being incorporated into my page, all right? Now I can move June over here if I like, and we will again change Health and Habits to this pretty green color. It's interesting how red and green can look so different in the summertime, but those are the same colors that I often use for winter. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do this. We will con uh, continue to change these. Uh, let's make these uh, this pink color. Mm, that's kind of hard to read on screen. Let's make these not the pink color, but maybe a red color. Yes, that's much easier to see on screen. And then we will make these going down the side, the dates. I will make those the green color. All right. Now what I do on this page, for those of you who are new to my channel, I uh, have a Garmin watch that I wear and it gives me stress levels and um, all of that kind of thing, how many hours I slept, my oxygen levels, all that stuff, how many steps I take every day. And I log that information on here. I prefer to do a monthly log so that I can see trends and patterns rather than doing a 
weekly or daily log. Now, sometimes I will track things daily, but I also come back over and add it to my uh, weekly page. And you see here, there's also a note uh, that I put on the side for last month because we were traveling. And sometimes that makes a difference in you know, how many steps you get or how much, uh, uh, food you eat or, you know, what your medication might be doing, your stress levels, all that kind of stuff. So I like to make any notes like that as well. Don't know that I'm traveling for the month of June, so I will get rid of that for now. And then I have my normal health goals down here, which are, uh, that I would like to eat eight fruits and vegetables a day, take 8,000 steps on average a day, get eight hours of sleep and drink eight hour, eight glasses of water. Okay. All right. Now let's add a couple cute stickers to this. Uh, let's see. I will take these two and make a copy of those and take them back to my health page and paste on the side. a little bit bigger oh did I only grab the one let me go back and get the other one control C to copy control V to paste and there we go okay all right so that looks pretty good oh my inbox page I need to change that title to June. Now, while I'm here, I want to go ahead and show you how to move this page up to incorporate the, the title bar. All right. So first of all, to do that, I'm going to need to move this over a little bit and uh, this over a little bit. And to get those finite, finite details, you hold down your alt key to move things. All right. But what I need to do is I need to, first of all, see how I have set picture as background. That takes this notebook page and makes it a background so that I can't move it. If I uncheck that, you see that I now have these graphic dots around my notebook and I can move it, okay? So I can choose everything here and you see everything is now highlighted and I can grab this whole thing and I can simply move it up to incorporate my June inbox and notes title up there at the top. And then I can click off. I can go back to highlighting just this black notebook. So you see the lines just around the black notebook. And again, set picture as background should be checked. Now that notebook will not move, but I have now incorporated my title at the top. Okay. All right, and again, if I want to, I can change any of that, okay? All right, now let's move on to the dashboard. The dashboard is a busy page for me. It's one of my favorites. I use it a lot. Uh, let me quickly go over what's here, and then we will talk about, um, you know, how I want to set it up for June. It works so well for me in this format that I am not going to change the format this month. Okay. So what I have over here on the far left hand side is a monthly calendar, much like a bullet journal style, um, monthly log where I have the number of the day and then I have the day of the week. And then I have a space to include major, uh, things that happen or things that I want to remember to do. Okay. So you see, I had some travel listed on here. I have doctor's appointments listed on here, you know, all that holidays, all that kind of stuff, people's birthdays, all those important things that I need to remember. They go on here. And sometimes I have more than one, uh, happening at one time. And the great thing about this being a table is all I need to do is come in here. If I type, um, something and I need more space, I just hit return and the column gets bigger and I can add to it. Okay. Out on the side here, I have my cleaning zone. So the first week of the month is cleaning zone number one, then two, three, four, etc. down the side. All right. So that is there. Uh, while I'm talking about this, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Uh, so that will be gone. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this whole calendar because I have another one that I'm going to bring in. 
I will get rid of that. Here are my goals for the month of that I had for May. So I'm going to need to come in and modify those. I'm going to change this to the title of June. And I'm going to change this to the title of June. Okay. And we will work on those goals probably in a different video. I'm just trying to get things set up for today. Okay. This uh, section right here is a list of links to my very uh, important pages. So my habit health tracker is here for, as a link in case I just want to use that. If I click on that, it will take me um, to the health and habits page, but I need to modify this. I need to edit this link so that it goes to the right month. So let me bring this over. Okay, so you can see right here, the health and habit tracker, that's where it wants to go. Uh, what, what I want to call, the health and habit tracker is what I want to call the link, but we need to pick the correct section. So what I'm gonna do is go down here into my 2023 life planner. I'm gonna go down to June. I'm going to click on June and it's going to show me all of the pages and I want it to go to my June health and habits and I'll say, okay. Then when I click on that, it takes me to my June health and habits and I can get back to that page by hitting the back button. Okay. All right. The next one is my uh, CCL crystal clear life analytics. And when I click on that, that takes me to my analytics page where I keep track of how many subscribers I have and all of that. With that said, that's a good segue to say, if you have not thought about subscribing yet, please do so. Uh, that really helps out my channel. And if you've learned anything or you even like the graphics that I'm using today, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. That also helps my channel. And um, YouTube has been promoting my channel more and more. So we are finding more and more people uh, to join our group. And I think that is absolutely wonderful. Okay. All right, back to planning. Okay, so uh, other things that I have here, my 365 book challenge, my goals for 2023, um, my um, uh, Crystal Clear Life Gmail, uh, so that if I am here and need to check uh, email really quickly, there is a link to that. So in OneNote, you can link to other pages that you have in the notebook that you're currently using. You can link to other pages that are in other notebooks that you might need to use on a frequent basis, like my CCL analytics, which is in a different notebook, my reading goal, which is in my reading journal. Um, so you can do all those things, but you can also link to other pages on the web, like your email link and that kind of thing. Okay. All right. So recipe to try for this past month was a strawberry pie, which turned out delicious, by the way. Uh, let's see. And then I also have on this right-hand side a currently section. So this is currently I am, and it's really just a snapshot of my life. So whatever book I was reading, whatever I was watching on television, um, what I was waiting for, where I was traveling to, what I was excited about, all those things. I love going back and looking at this and seeing all of those different things. Let's get it cleaned up for the month of June. We'll get rid of our cute typewriter. We'll get rid of our florals. We'll get rid of our May in the garden. I'm going to leave my garden zones on here, but I need a different background for those because, well, those colors might match. Let's see. I have a motivational quote down here, do a little bit every day and some other graphics. Okay. All right. Now let's go find the June calendar, which is in my year long section in my 2023 calendar. And uh, let's see, this is what I have stored so far. I use it here in my year long section for long term planning. So for example, I found out that the Blackfire, which is a Shakespearean theater um, down in Virginia, they are doing Measure for Measure, Taming of the Shrew, and Much Ado uh, this summer. So I have that listed there so that if I want to plan a trip there uh, to see one of those shows, I know what's happening. I also have a link here that will take me to their website if I want to order tickets. Okay. So that's the kind of long-term 
um, planning that I like to do here. Okay. I also have things like weddings and holidays and, you know, um, graduation parties and all of that kind of stuff that I go ahead and put in here. So if I highlight this whole column, this is just a table that was created. This one actually is from Calendarpedia, which I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to use it. It's already set up for you. Um, so what I do is I go in here and copy, and then I take it back to June to my dashboard page. I'm going to paste over here on the side. So control V to paste. All right. And then I can move that into position like so, and I can make this wider if I need to. And again, just kind of play around with it and get it exactly the way you want it to be. Okay. All right. Now let's grab that title again for June. We're going to copy that and we'll take it back to our dashboard page, paste on the side and put it into position. There we go. Now, as you can see, the original calendar PDA calendar comes with uh, preset uh, colors, but because it is a table, they are very easy, easy, easy to change. So let me show you how to do that. All right. What you want to do is you want to come in here and highlight the cells that you want to change. So in this case, I'm going to do the June one and I'm going to go down here to table shading and that's going to bring up all of my colors. I can then go in and choose what I would like uh, for that. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, the yellow really isn't that bad. It's a nice accent color. Um, I also could use maybe this pink. Uh, that's the wrong pink. I could put in hex codes if I had them. I just didn't grab them while I was doing this. You know what? I'm going to... Um, see how this yellow works out because it does pick up on some of the colors in the uh, flowers like this one here. So let's do this. Let's copy this and let's take it back to our dashboard and we'll paste on the side over here and we'll see how that works. Maybe we can put that there and maybe tie some of that yellow in. It's actually kind of a very bright yellow. It needs to be deeper, I think. So table shading, um, let's try that one. That one looks a little bit better. And the beautiful thing about, um, digital planning is if I finish this and I go back and look at it and I go, you know what, that color really doesn't work for me. I want to change it. It is simple to change just like I'm doing now. Okay. All right. So you're never stuck in stone when you are digital planning. Okay. Let's grab a couple more stickers. I really like this string of strawberries here. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to take that back to the dashboard and I'll paste over here on the side and then move it into position. Okay. So I can put that graphic right over top of the table. I think that's really cute. Okay. Now for my goals, like I said, I'm going to work on those off camera. I'm going to go in and change. These are just text boxes. Okay, so I need to take a look at where I'm at at each of my goals and update, you know, wh what is the next step. So, for example, my niece's quilt. It has been quilted. I have put the binding on it, but now I have to fold it over and hand sew all of that, and I have to put the label on. So, those will be my goals for that. Uh, last month's goal was to get it to the long arm quilter. We did all that. We're moving on. But again, that's a separate uh, task for me. So I'm not going to do that now. Uh, let's see. I'm just getting things set up. Let's change this box. Pen properties. Since we have green leaves here, uh, let's go with the red box and see how that looks. 
All right, I think that looks okay. And then my currently section over here, this is just a highlight. So again, I can choose a different highlight if I want, pick up some, of, some more of that pink. And for here, I need to add a second row. Go to my table feature and I'm going to insert to the right and that's going to give me a whole nother column right there that I can do. Okay. All right. So that's looking pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, what else do I like to keep on my dashboard? Well, I'm a gardener, so I have a master gardener list that I add every month and I have for the month of June, not very much on my list. Why is that? Because most of the work for me in the garden takes place in March, April, and May. By the time June rolls around, I like things to just be in place and be done. And then I just have to go around and do the general maintenance uh, on things. So I'm gonna come over here, paste on the side, and there's my June in the garden. Uh, let's see deadhead the pe peonies so I'm deadheading things to get a second bloom I'm um, pinching the, the buds off of you know my coleus to keep them from blooming and my uh, mums to keep them from blooming early and I am uh, you know pruning and fertilizing the azaleas and all those things that are finishing blooming I prune and fertilize them at that point okay all right so again this is a highlight I don't like this bright pink we're going to change that to something that is more gardeny like that. And we will change the letters of June into something that looks like that. Now let's go find a graphic to put there. Okay. This one we have not used yet. So we will paste that on the side. And we can make that a little bit bigger. So there we have June in the garden. Okay. All right. And there we go. It is primarily set up. I think that yellow is looking okay. Uh, what I really need to do is I really need to pull a little bit more of that yellow over here. So maybe instead of this being highlighted in green, maybe we could highlight that in yellow. Let's see how that looks. Let's look at our highlighter colors. That's probably too dark, but we'll try it. Mm, I don't like that. And that one is probably too light. And I think I'm going back to the green. I'll find something else to put down here that has some yellow in it. Maybe there's another sticker. Let's see. Um, nope, but I think this um, checklist is kind of cute. So I'm going to put that down here in the corner. Again, paste on the side. Move it into place and I can make it bigger. Like so. That's really cute. Okay, so my uh, June dashboard is set. Uh, again, I have a calendar, I have my cleaning zones. Um, I have, these are for major events. I have a section for my goals. Uh, I have a section for notes or recipes to try if I don't wanna do that on my inbox. Uh, I have a cur currently section. I have a June in the garden and I have uh, a place just for an extra list of things. Now, the one thing that I did keep on here was my list of important things. So we're going to move those back up. So we'll put those there. And then I also have my garden zones. Um, and let's grab those to move things quickly. I'm just going to grab my lasso tool and I'll put a circle around those. And we will move those up here. Actually, let's take this cute graphic and we'll slide it over a little bit. There we go. And then we can move these guys back down a little bit farther. 
All right. So just like I do my housework in zones, I do my garden in zones. So my garden zones for this year are uh, on Mondays, I like to do the deck and the back area around the fire pit and the new bird garden I just put in. On Tuesdays, I like to do the front garden. On Wednesdays, I do the west garden. And on Thursdays, I do the east garden. And Fridays is the little circle garden, which is outside in the middle of our driveway. And then I also have a list of daily tasks here that I do in the garden, okay? So um, I like to keep this list here, especially at the beginning of the season like this, so that I can remember what I'm supposed to do, all right? So there is the entire dashboard page all ready to go. I think that looks pretty cute. And surprise, surprise, those colors actually look okay on here. I gotta change these colors up. Goals are another day, Crystal, focus. <laughs> all right, my personal meal planning page uh, is the page that I move forward uh, from month to month. And what I really just need to do in here is go in and clean it all up and it is uh, my shopping list. So I just went to the grocery store yesterday. I got ice cream, I got mac and cheese. I got, I got all of these things and let's see. There we go. Now, this is my standard grocery list so that when I'm going uh, to primarily the short store that I shop at is Aldi's. I can simply go in here and highlight the things that I need, like, oh, I need lunch meat or I need, you know, pork chops. And then when I'm at the store, I bring this page up on my phone. I walk around the store and go, okay, I need this, I need that. And as I buy them, I simply can come in here with my eraser and erase the items that I have purchased. Okay. The other section that I like about this is I have a place to put my dinner plans. And if I have dinner plans and I need something from my shopping list, my shopping list is right here uh, to do that with. So I think that works out great. Okay. So that page is set for me. I can add a cute sticker to this page if I want. Copy that and take it back to our meal planning page. Paste. And there we go, just to add some decoration, okay? All right, last page is my May household. Again, gonna clean it up. And this simply is a list of all of the chores that I do in and around the house. And what I do is I go through and as I do the chore, I write down the date when that chore was done. You see, I was traveling for a very lot, for two weeks of the month of May, so some things fell through the crack, which is okay. I don't really worry about everything being perfect all the time. I do just like to stay on top of things as best I can, okay? And I had a note there about relocating the greenhouse, which we did. And let's grab some uh, strawberry stickers and make this one look cute. Oh, there we go. Uh, so we'll paste on the side for June. Make him a little bit smaller. There we go. You know, it's motivating for me to be able to see, you know, these things in kind of a, a cute way. Keeps me coming back to my planner. I like to go in and see the things that are there and check them off. It was also interesting too, because my daughter was taking care of the house for me much of the time while we were gone this last month. And if she wasn't sure what to do, all she had to do was come into OneNote and look at my list and know exactly, you know, what my routines were and what needed to be done and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Again, my household chores here, uh, things I like to do in the kitchen, the bedrooms, bathrooms, um, office and studio, that kind of thing. All of these things are listed here. It's all on a table. So it is easy to modify if I need to, as it keeps trying to take over. So table shading. And I can choose whichever uh, color I want for this one. I can go with this lighter green.
and I kind of like to alternate them. So let's do this one in the light green as well. And this one. And I like that once you have one color picked out, you know, it stays there under table shading and you can just choose that one again. And then we will also go in and do some red ones. So table shading. I don't want them too dark red. Let's see how that looks. I think that will be okay. but I might need to change the text color. What about that one? That one's actually better. Let's do that one. Table, shading, table. I do a lot of table shading in my notebook. Uh, I think it helps make things, you know, cohesive. I really like that. Um, so there we go. And then empty out any of these cells that are left. And I have not used these chocolate drops yet, so we're going to do that. We'll put a little strawberry there. And a little strawberry there. And a little strawberry over here. All right. So those will be like my rewards. <laughs> if I get some of my work done, I could give myself a chocolate covered strawberry. How lovely would that be? Okay. All right. And again, I like this little strip of berries here. So I'm going to copy that and take that back, paste on the side, then I can put that where I want it. Right up there is cute. Okay. And we can put one on this side as well. All right. Well, there you have the five important pages. So my inbox, uh, my um, dashboard, my monthly dashboard to keep me organized throughout the month, my health and habits for tracking things, and my personal meal planning for the weekly meal plans that I do, and my household tasks that I need to get done. Okay, so those are the five most important pages that I set up every month. Uh, and then I also set up a, a weekly page for each month and sometimes a daily page depending on how busy things are getting. So if you'd like to see those, stay tuned. They'll be out soon. In the meantime, I'd love to know what your monthly theme for June is looking like. Uh, please leave me a comment below and let me know. I am always curious about uh, the interesting things that people use to design their planners with and I would love to hear about that. Well, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote. Until next time. Okay. Bye. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's summertime. It's summertime. It's summer, summer, summertime.